I'm going to go on to another subject that a lot of people don't want to discuss today. I know when I discuss it, it's amazing. I get attacked. And that's called something called 9-11. Why is it that when you ask questions about 9-11, it's off out of bounds? Well, I got news for you. When I was going through underwater demolition SEAL training, when I got to the demolition phase, I had a chief warrant officer who taught me that there is no dumb question. That if you don't understand something, you are not out of line for asking a question. And I think that when you ask that question, you have every right and deserve to get an honest answer. Well, here's my question that I want you all to, two questions I want you to think about today. Number one, why has the United States Department of Justice not charged Osama bin Laden for 9-11? Now, they charged him when he blew up our embassy in Africa in 98. Why the biggest terrorism act in history have they failed to officially charge him for? Why have they not convened a grand jury presented their evidence, and got an indictment. Second, second, go to the internet and go to the FBI website and go to their international list of top ten terrorists. You will see Bin Laden there. Bring his name up and his picture. Amazingly, all the charges, the embassy of 98 and all this other stuff is all listed. But ironically, nothing on 9-11. Nothing. Now, when the FBI was pressed as to why 9-11 wasn't included, their response was, we don't have enough evidence. Now, people, if you're like me, that is extremely disturbing. We've fought two wars, we've changed our entire foreign policy, and we've had the Patriot Act put on us, all supposedly because of Osama bin Laden. Well, I think we should have to charge, aren't you innocent in this country until proven guilty? Well, as, as distasteful as that is, he deserves the same thing. He needs to be charged. Why is he not charged if he did it? I'm down to four minutes. They got the clock timer here. So we'll start winding it up. No, no, no. But again, I leave you with those two thoughts to think about. To think about a moment. Why has that not happened? Why did we have a president who stonewalled any investigation of 9-11 for over two years? Well, all I'm saying is that the truth lies with us, ladies and gentlemen. We are the people of the United States of America. If we have a terrible media, it's our fault. Because we should hold them to a higher standard and demand for more from them. You know, while I was living in Mexico a couple years ago, you know what disturbed me the most? watching satellite TV, and for one entire month, our entire news media was focused on the death of Anna Nicole Smith. Wait a minute, don't boo Anna, she can't help it. She's dead. 
She can't control the media, she's dead. But I ask you, that's the dumbing down of America. And that's what our news media is spoon-feeding us today. The dumbing down of America. I'll finish off because I'm down to two minutes by saying this. We, we can take our country back. It can be done. But it doesn't, it's not going to happen with talk. It's going to happen with action. I wrote the book, Don't Start the Revolution Without Me. Well, I'm here. I'm here, and believe me, with people like myself, Dr. Paul, and all the rest of us, let's get the revolution going! I will say this, if I see it over the next two to three years, if I see it start to rise up, and if this country shows me that it's worth it for me to do it, well then maybe in 2012. Wait. Chanting and yelling isn't going to do it. I need to see it by action. And I will be watching. And if I see it in 2012, we'll give them a race they'll never forget. Thank you. I forgot the most important thing for all Minnesotans. We have an alternative to the U.S. Senate. His name is Dean Barkley. There's the man in Minnesota you need to vote for for the U.S. Senate this year. Dean Barkley. Almost forgot, Dean. All right. Thank you.